Stability AI released a new AI generative video model, Stable Video Diffusion. And I can say that this model is even better than Runaway ML and it is completely free. It doesn't have censorship, so you can generate any videos you want. I mean, even not safe for work content. Of course, there are some limitations. You can only generate uh, 14 or 25 FPS per second and uh, the maximum length of the video is 4 seconds. But still, that's very good. Unfortunately, the most popular uh, Stable Diffusion UI, uh, Automatic 11.11, still haven't implemented this feature, but there is an open feature request on GitHub, so we hope to see it there soon. As for now, we can use Comfy UI that uh, already has nodes and the entire workflow for this video model. So you can run this model in Google Collab or uh, locally on your PC. And in this video, I'll show you how to set up it in Google Collab and start using it. First, go to Stability AI GitHub and download the checkpoints. There are two of them. Uh, it is a stable video diffusion that will generate 14 frames per second with resolution 576 on 1024 or another one that will generate 25 uh, frames per second. It is a uh, Stable Video Diffusion XT. Just click on the link and it will redirect you to the page where you can download the model. So click on these files and versions and download the save tensors file. It is nine gigabytes, uh, nine and a half. So the download can take some time uh, if you have slow internet. So I will download this XT uh, version uh, because I want to generate 25 uh, frames per second. And while it is downloading, let's go and uh, find the Comfy UI uh, collab. You can find it in Google or you can just click on the link below the video. And here it is, here is a Comfy UI collab. So you go to file and save it to your drive. And then you have to go to Comfy UI announcement and find these links for workflow. So I will download this one, just click it, save us and save it to your downloads folder. Now let's go to your Google Drive and in the folder collab notebooks, you can find your Comfy UI. And so if you are running it for the first time, you have to click on this cell and install a uh, Comfy UI. So now when uh, you are done with the first step, you can go to your Google Drive and here there will be a folder Comfy UI and inside of this folder, inside models and checkpoints, uh, you need to put your uh, stable video diffusion model. So just uh, drag it from your downloads to this folder and wait until it is uploaded. And when it is uploaded, you can go back to your collab and you can hit the next cell. You don't need to download uh, other models if you are not going to generate images. If you just want to generate video, you go to the next cell, uh, run Comfy UI with Cloudflare, recommended way. So hit this cell and wait, it will start your stable diffusion UI. So at the end, uh, you will see such a uh, URL. Uh, it will say this is the URL to access Comfy UI. Click this uh, and you'll be redirected to uh, the Comfy UI itself. So here you can see the default workflow. And uh, to be able to use our video model, you need to click on the load button here and upload this workflow image to video JSON. And then you see it will change uh, these nodes and in the first one, uh, image only checkpoint loader, you need to change it. If you're using the 25 frames per second model, you need to change it to uh, SVD XT. If you're using the 14 uh, frames per second one, you don't need to change it. So I changed it and now we can just choose the file to upload. Uh, I have a file that I generated for one of my videos and it is just a girl who is looking at her phone and I will upload it here. So you see this girl who is a bit, who looks a bit surprised and disappointed looking at her phone and the image is square. 
Uh, but you can see that here we have width and height uh, that is a rectangle. Uh, you can change it, but you can also leave it as it is. It will just crop your picture and use the middle part of it. So uh, these are default settings and let's try just to generate a video with these default settings and see uh, how it will look like. So now uh, when you uploaded your picture, uh, you don't have to do anything else. You just need to click on this Q prompt. And when you run it for the first time, this first cell will take a bit uh, more time. I think it is because it needs to kind of load the model and, you know, process it. Then it will be a little bit faster. So be patient. Now we just wait. Okay, so now it is done and we can see the result here in this last um, node. And you see it, uh, it is actually quite a good result. I like how it uh, moves the camera a little bit and it also managed to uh, move uh, the girl's face. Uh, really, uh, all the AI uh, video models, they suck when you need to process uh, humans, humans' bodies or human faces. Uh, they're really good at uh, some kind of abstractions or backgrounds. But in this case, it's really hard to get uh, good results. And this one did uh, really well. And it was just default settings. So let's see what else we can change here. Um, so here in this uh, SVD image to video conditioning, we have a bunch of settings. Some of them are obvious, such as width and height, and uh, others are less obvious. For example, here video frames, we have 14 and the motion bucket ID is 127. So uh, video frames, it's kind of a total amount of frames and frames per second is how many frames you uh, want to produce per second. And uh, basically, if uh, you change these two parameters, you will uh, get a longer video or shorter video. For example, if I change uh, these to, let's say, 24 or 25, and I leave an FPS as 6, I should get a longer video. And this motion bucket ID is responsible for how much of motion you will get in your video. So we can uh, reduce it a little bit, for example, and uh, see what will happen. So right now, uh, if we try to regenerate this one, uh, we should see a longer video with uh, less motion. So let's try. Okay, so that's our second video and you can see that animation is changed and now the camera is not moving that much uh, and the girl is kind of saying something and her face is moving, uh, but it is a little bit messed up. I don't know if you can fix it using other uh, settings. Maybe we could try uh, to change, for example, augmentation level in the recommended settings i saw somewhere that they recommended to uh, set to 0 0.07 uh what else we can change we can change steps let's maybe make it 30. we can also change the sampler which one to try maybe this one and yeah I don't know, let's try and see if there will be any difference. Okay, with this sampler, our results are less dynamic. She's not uh, talking anymore, but at the same time, the picture itself is more sharp, I'd say. Um, so again, it depends on what you want to get. And of course, we could play more with the uh, settings. But what I want to try now is is to take a different picture and see how it will work with a uh, different kind of like uh, picture where it's not just a face but it's more like of a landscape and people in it. So I uploaded this picture with two girls uh, in the mountains and I want to see how it will animate this picture. I will add a little bit more motion here and I will also uh, change it back to this sampler because it is faster and I'll set it to maybe 25 steps. So yeah, let's see what it will generate for us. 
Uh, okay, so that's our image and uh, the faces of uh, girls are a bit blurry but uh, you know the image itself it's uh, such of uh, such kind of um, artsy watercolor whatever image uh, so it wasn't very detailed in the first place so this is something we could expect and the uh, walking movement is not bad but i don't really like these uh, hands uh, that are um, a bit bad here uh, so I would try again. Uh, I would change it to another sampler that we had before, this one. And I would also reduce a motion bucket to 70 uh, to get a bit less of a movement here because uh, it's such a peaceful picture so we probably don't want a lot of movement here. And what else we could change? Uh, probably not much, let's try with these settings. Okay, this is interesting and uh, the movement of the girls is really good and if you uh, cut the last part where they kind of merge together that can be a really good video. Uh, so yeah, this is impressive and also uh, I would add a little bit of movement for the background um, maybe to be like to make it more cinematic but even this way with a static background it still looks pretty good and the last thing to mention is that it saves your videos in a webp format and you can find them here in the comfy ui folder if you go to comfy ui and then to uh, the output folder uh, you will see these uh, webp files so we can open the last one for example this is not a very uh, common video uh, format so if you want to uh, convert it to mp4 you can just use uh, online converter or use a uh, video editing software so that's it for today about stable video diffusion thank you for watching my video i hope it was useful and interesting for you don't forget to subscribe on my channel and check my Stable Diffusion Tutorials playlist.